Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is Wednesday. Um, markets actually did pretty good today. Bitcoin did great today. Um, so did the miners. We'll take a look at the miners as well. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Obviously, we got the Bitcoin expiry happening on this Friday. So bulls are trying to defend the 40,000 marks. We'll look at that a little bit. And then we'll also take a look at the miner versus miner for basically February. See how the miners stack up to each other and kind of look at to see which one's undervalued and what the potential is for each one. So that's going to be towards the end of the video. First, we'll get into the miners, see how they did today, Bitcoin, and then the news and miners and so on. Um, as always, not financial advice. Do your own research. Uh, don't fall for scams. Spam posts get reported and deleted. Um, invest in the following companies and coins. And here we go. So any was actually up today 5.78% on the day. It was up to $1.83. It is now battling above the 100-day moving average right now. And we are looking at the one-hour chart. Let's take a look at the daily chart here. Um, on the daily chart, we're actually below the 20-day moving average, 50-day moving average, and so on. But on the one-hour chart, we were actually trading above that. Uh, Argo was up 12.84% today to $0.83, cents, so a good day for Argo. Bitfarms was up 5.41%. It is also battling with the 20-day moving average. CleanSpark was up 6.10% to $10.26. It is above the 20-day moving average, which is good sign to see, and above the 50-day moving average as well. So that is also good to see. Cores was up today 8.45% to $8.34. It is above the 20-day moving average as well. Digihost was up 4.95% to $2.71. It is below the 20-day moving average right now. DMG was up 6.52% to $0.49. Cents. It is now above the 20-day moving average as well. Hive is up today 6.9% to $1.86. It is battling with the 20-day moving average, it looks like. Hut 8 was up 8.32% to $5.21. It is below the 21-day or 20-day moving average. Iris Energy was up 3.9% today to $14.64. It is battling basically with the 20-day moving average right now and above the 50-day moving average currently. Marathon is up 8.12% today to $24.23. And it is also battling with the 20-day moving average as well. Mawson was actually down today 0.55% to $3.59. And Riot was up 9.93%. Riot also provided their uh, end-of-the-year uh, results. We won't go into the details on this video. I'll do another video tomorrow. i got to run through the numbers and see how everything's stacked up. But they were up 9.93% to $16.39. So, and, and after hours, they're actually down a little bit right now. If we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin right now is at roughly 41,000. It's at 40,922. It has been coming down a little bit here in the last couple of hours on the chart here. And it is above right now our support, which was 40,700, which is a good sign. It also finished out the day, I believe, above the support. If we look on the daily chart here. Yeah, so it crossed over the new day. It, we're above it. We'll see if we can finish this off above it. Obviously, the bulls are going to be trying to keep that line drawn here and stay above it as the expiry happens this Friday. So we're only two days away from that. Uh, so let's go back to the one hour chart here. Right now on the one hour chart, we're looking pretty good on the RSI. The RSI is at 58. Uh, last time we were around here was right around, if we go far enough back to, I mean, it's looking a little bit flat, but we're actually up in price. So that's actually kind of good. Um, if we look over here, yeah, we were at roughly, 40,500. So we're up on price. RSI is holding steady, which is good as well. It's a good sign we're not overbought right now, uh, like we were here in uh, yesterday. So that is looking good. Ethereum right now is also up on the day. It is at 2,759. It has crossed over the 20 day moving average on the chart here, and it's holding pretty well as, uh, above it as well. And we can see that we finished out the day in the green above it, and uh, we have now the new red uh, candle for starting out the day here. Hopefully we can stay above it and we can maybe test the 50-day moving average and see how that goes forward. Um, obviously right now on the RSI, we're still looking really good. Uh, we're actually a little bit lower than we were here, but that's uh, several days. That's almost two weeks ago. So it's not too bad. Uh, we may test it, come back down. We'll see obviously how Friday plays out with the expiry, uh, whether the bulls take control or the bears. All right, so let's take a look at the first story here. Is obviously on the bull and bears. 
So Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin bulls to defend 40,000 leading into Friday's 7, 760 million options expiry. So BTC price struggles to sustain 40,000, but March 18th options expiry might give bulls the 160 million profit needed to keep the positive momentum. And over the past two months, Bitcoin has, re uh, has respected a slightly ascending trend, bouncing multiple times from its support. Even though that might sound positive, Bitcoin's performance year to date remains a lackluster negative 14%. On the other hand, the Bloomberg Commodity, in Commodity Index gained 2% in the same period, but that's fine. All it takes is a couple of days and Bitcoin can easily beat that if we have a nice little bull run here. Uh, still, cryptocurrency traders are increasingly concerned about the U.S. Federal Reserve rate hikes expected throughout 2022 to contain inflationary pressure. Investors took profits on riskier assets, uh, so obviously Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, high uh, tech stocks and things like that, causing the U.S. dollar index to reach its level, highest level in 21 months at 99.2 on March 11th. The index measures the dollar's strength against the basket of top foreign currencies. Uh, bearish bets are mostly below 40,000, so that's one thing that we got to watch, obviously, this Friday. And then Bitcoin's recovery above 40,000 on March 26 took bears by surprise as only 7% of the bearish options bets for March 18th have been placed above such a price level, uh, which isn't uh, good. It's not bad either, but bulls might have to be might have been fooled by the recent 45,000 resistance test on March 1st as their bets on March 18th, 760 million options expiry will go away to 65,000. So we obviously have call options here with 10, almost 10,500 BTC. Put options is at 8.3 thousand BTC. Call to put ratio is 1.26. So it looks like we have a little bit more uh, call options than we do have puts. Down here, bears have incentives to suppress Bitcoin price. So Bitcoin bears need to pr need to pressure the price below 40,000 on March 18th to avoid a 105 million loss. On the other hand, the bull's best case scenario requires a push above 41,000 to increase their gains to 160 million. So we're going to have a battle here in the next couple of days. Bitcoin bulls had 98 million leverage long positions liquidated on March 16th. So there's less incentive to push the price higher in the short term. With this said, bulls will likely trend, uh, try to defend the 40,000 support until the March 18th options expiry. So we'll have to obviously see, see how that plays out. Um, another story that I s found here that was kind of interesting, this is part of Riot's uh, Riot sees, uh 2022 as a year of consolidation in the Bitcoin mining sector. Uh, so this is from their report that they provided for the end of year. I'm not going to get into all the details, but I thought this was interesting. Uh, one of the largest publicly traded Bitcoin miners, Bride Blockchain, sees this year as the year of consolidation in the Bitcoin mining industry and expects the company to potentially benefit from such a trend. The miner said it's continuously evaluating strategic opportunities, which it may decide to undertake as part of its strategic growth initiatives. Companies said in a Securities and Exchange Commission filing today, uh, yesterday, I guess, because um, today is Wednesday. Yeah, so that was yesterday. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So we'll look at my numbers here on the miners versus miners, but this is obviously kind of telling where everybody's kind of looking into the industry now. You do have a lot of miners that are kind of small, with their, especially with their market cap. It would be easy to pick them up um, uh, depending on, might have to offer a little bit of a premium, but you could possibly pick them up. So we'll take a look at some of those that might be a potential takeover uh, bid. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers here that I got for them. So right now, we have, let me put these in order here um, by miner. So, sort ascending. There we go. So, we got Argo, Bitfarms, Clean Spark, Core Scientific, DigiHost, DMG, Hive, Hut 8, Iris, Marathon, Mawson, and Riot. Uh, Argo has about 30, 378 million, almost 379 million shares out on the latest numbers that I have here for them from Google. Uh, current price to earnings is about 11.38. Bid Farms currently is uh, 6167 with 252 million shares out. CleanSpark has only 41 and a half million roughly shares out. Course Scientific has 317.2 million out. DigiHost has 32 million out. DMG has 215 million shares out. Hive has 519 million. Hut 8 has 215 million. Iris has 55 million. Marathon has 103 million. Moss in 69 million and Riot at 116. So the lowest one right now is DigiHost. The one with the most is Hive uh, on that. Stock price, we went over the stock prices today. Market caps is $318 million for Argo, 884 for BitFarms. CleanSpark is 425 Core Scientific is at $2.6 billion. Uh, DigiHost is at 85 So I think DigiHost and DMG 
might be takeover bids here for some of these guys. Um, and we'll take a look at the numbers that they have for them. Hive is at almost 1 billion, 965 uh, million. Hut 8 is at 1.1 billion. Uh, Iris is at 805. And I believe that this is in Canadian dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I believe. I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, Iris is at 805 million. Marathon is at 2.5 billion, roughly. Mawson is at 247 million. And Riot is almost at 1. Well, it's at 1.9 billion dollars. So estimated revenue last three quarters plus current. We're looking at Argo is about 98. Bid Farmers is 161. Uh, CleanSpark is 106. Core Scientific will be 273. Digihost 24 million. D DMG 25. So you can see that these guys are pretty close to each other as far as revenues go. Hive is at 226. Um, Hive Hot 8 is at 143. Iris is at 48. And Marathon is 193. Mawson is at 53. And Riot is at 223 million. Um, and then here's, <clears throat> excuse me, so then I use the 50% uh, gross or net income from gross revenue with the price earnings multiple of 20 and then also 75. 75 is the 1% that we normally kind of use for this. And then to see if somebody is undervalued or over overvalued right now, looking at our goal, my target on them is $2.91 where they should be 75% with price earnings multiple of 20. So we're looking at them being pr pretty much $2.07 under where they are, where they should be, at least in my opinion. So that's a difference of 247%. And then bid farms should be around 963, in my opinion. They are at 351. So they are $6.12 under from where they should be. And that's 174% difference. Clean Spark would be at 1922. It's at 1026 right now. $8.96 difference, 87% on that. Core should be around 970, uh, so $1.36. So they're pretty close to being fairly valued, it looks like. Uh, they're not too far off. They're only off by 60%. Digihost is obviously $5.78 if all things were equal. They're at 266 right now. Uh, so they're $3.12 undervalued, so that's 117% difference. DMG is at 53 cents, in my opinion. Uh, and that is basically because they're, I think, pretty much uh, already have everything installed. Uh, let me see here. I, nope, they're not. Uh, they're not there yet. Um, I think they got some more miners um, that they're going to be buying here, so that's why. Uh, Hive is at 6.54 on my guess, and that would be uh, basically a difference of four dollars and sixty-eight cents, two hundred fifty-one percent upside potential. Hut eight is at ten o two by my estimates. And they are at 521 right now, so $4.81 difference, 92% upside potential. Iris is at 13.35 in my book. They are at 14.64 right now, so they are looking a little bit overvalued right now by about 9%. Uh, Dollar 29 over from where I would think that would be a fair value for them. Marathon 28.18, so they're down 3.95 from where they I think they should be, 16% uh, potential there. Mawson 11.57. They're at 359 right now, $7.98 difference from where I think they should be in 222% increase in price. And then Riot is at 1579. They're at 1639. So they're pretty well valued right now, about a negative 4% uh, potential for increase. But obviously the guys that are going to be installing a lot of miners, those guys usually get a little bit more benefit of the doubt from the investors. So they get a little bit higher premium on the PE. So ideally, we probably should be looking at the PE that's closer to maybe 10 for, for all of these guys instead of 20, 20. Right now with the Bitcoin being down, it obviously has an impact on the miners as well. They're not being very much loved right now. So once Bitcoin starts going up, the PE ratios will raise as well. Um, current hash rate. So let's take a look at that uh, right here. So current hash, hash rate on Argo is at 1.6. Future hash rate is going to be around 3.7 or so. I know they want to get up higher than that as well, but they don't have anything announced as far as what they're buying, when they're going to get it, and things like that. Once that is announced, that will get included in here, so that will obviously change as well. And that's, that's the same thing for all these guys. Um, so current, <clears throat> excuse me, currently they're up operational 43.5% of their total miners. Total no, uh, number of miners is 26,000. Hash rate average per miner is 61, so that's kind of low. They got to get rid of some of their older miners and get some new miners in here. Bitfarms is at 2.3. Exa hash right now, they're going to be at approximately 6.3. Uh, 
So they're 36% operational, 28,000 miners. Average hash rate is 20, 82,000 tera hash, which is pretty good. It's not the best, uh, but it's obviously better than Argo right now. CleanSpark is at 2,252, or current hash rate 2.2 exa hash. And future hash rate is going to be around 4.2. I know that they're wanting to grow as well, but they haven't provided any details on new miners. So they're currently 53% operational from future hash rate announced. And number of miners is 22,000. Hash rate is really good. It's 102 tera hash. Uh, core scientific is at 8.2 exa hash right now. Future hash rate about 16.7 or so. 17, I think they want us to get to. So they're about 49% operational right now with 82,000 miners installed and an average hash rate of 99 uh, tera hash, which is good as well. Digihost is at 500. They want to get to 1.1 exa hash. Um, that represents right now they're 43% operational and they have 5,610 miners installed. Average hash rate is around 89. So we're seeing like 80s, 90s, or 90s are pretty much the average here across the board. And that's when the other guys are obviously above 100 on the Terra hash mark for average miners. And then we got DMGs at 511 petahash. They're going to about 1.5 exahash. They are 32% operational right now with 5,621 miners. Current average hash rate per miners 90 Terra hash, which is good. Hive is at 1.9 exahash, but this is only on their ASIC mining. This does not include um, their uh, GPU mining as well, which they use the GPU mining equivalents. Um, but I think all in all, they're like 2.8 or something like that in exahash. Um, future hash rate, they're saying that they're going to increase as well, but right now I'm about 3.94 exahash. And so they're currently about 48% operational. Number of miners, 22,579, 84 ter- 84 tera hash is their current average hash rate. They do have a lot of the older miners from 2017, 2018. Um, once they get the newer miners, they have to start getting those, I think, uh, changed out. Hut 8 is at 2.4. Exa hash right now, and this I think also includes their uh, GPU miners in there. So they are looking to be about 3 exa hash. I know they're looking to grow as well, but that gives us that they're pr- pretty much 75.52% uh, already installed from future hash rate with 26,680 miners and an average hash rate of 90 terahash, which is good. Iris is at 845 petahash. They're looking to get to uh, 15 exahash. They're only 5.62% installed right now with 8,656 miners and average hash rate of around 97 terahash. Marathon is at 3.8, almost 3.9. They're going to be at 23, roughly, exahash. They are 16.6% uh, installed right now. 35,510 miners installed, and average hash rate is 109 terahash, which is really good. They're pretty much the leader here right now. And then we got Mawson is at 1.3 exahash, going to about 3 exahash. They're looking to get to 5, I think, even 8 exahash toward down the road, but this is just what we have reported. So they're currently 43% operational, and number of miners is 13,650 on them. Hash rate per miner average is 95 terahash. And then we got Riot at 3.9 Terra hash or exa hash right now, they're looking to be about 12.7, but they're also doing immersion cooling, which will help them a little bit. I think they might be able to get to about 14, 14 and a half uh, exa hash with that. So they're currently 30% operational and they have 38,310 miners installed with an average hash rate of 102 exa hash. So out of these guys, the ones that have the most growth to go right now is Iris, obviously. Now let's take a look at them here by descending. Uh, so yeah, so we got Iris has the most growth, followed by Marathon, Riot, um, DMG. DMG is obviously not going up that much, but looking at their hash rate, they're basically fourth in line here. Followed by Bitfarms and Mawson, Argo. But obviously these numbers will change as we get news of new miners coming online. Um, average hash rate per miner wise, if we look at it uh, ascending. So Marathon is number one. They're doing right now the best as far as their hash rate is per miner, followed by CleanSpark and Riot, then Course Scientific, Iris, Mawson, and DMG. And then if we take a look at uh, market cap versus petahash current, it's basically 198,000 in earnings per petahash for uh, Argo. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's also do this ascending so we can see how this stacks up. Um, sort of sending. So Digihost, $171,000 uh, basically per pet of hash that they're generating. CleanSpark is at 188 uh, And this is from market cap basically. So per 
per market cap. So this tells you that 171, they're pretty undervalued, same as CleanSpark, uh, Mawson is at 190,000 per petahash. Argo is at 198. Let me see if we can see the current petahash of each one as well. Uh, DMG is at 206,000. Core Scientific is at 322. Bit Farm is at 378. Hut 8 is at 465. Riot at 488. Hive is at 508. Marathon is at 643. And Iris is at 953. So based on the number, so they're at 845 petahash, but they're obviously market cap is at 805 million. So they're obviously, I think, a little bit too much... Uh, a little bit overvalued and you can see it here based on my numbers here that that does represent that and for me marathon obviously has a ways to go so does hive those guys are doing pretty well right now um, so market cap per peta hash times future hash rate we're looking at for Digihost at 196 million clean spark at 801 Mawson at 568 730 million for Argo compared to where they are now. So this is future hash rates. We're multiplying the future hash rate times the market cap here uh, per petahash to get to possible future hash, future market cap values. Um, DMG would be at 322, Core would be at 5.3 billion, Bitfarms would be at 2.4, Hot 8 would be at 1.4 billion, Riot at 6.2, Hive would be at almost 2 billion. And Marathon would be at 15 billion, and Iris would be at almost 14 billion. And the way that works is I'm taking the future hash rate times the current uh, market cap per petahash to come up with these numbers along here. So a future share price would be based on those numbers if everything stayed obviously even. Digihost would be at six, and CleanSpark would be at 19 based on the numbers here. Mouse would be at eight, Argo would be at two, DMG would be at one dollar. Uh, Core Scientific would be at 17, Bitforms would be at 10, uh, Hut 8 would be at 7, Riot would be at 54, Hive would be at 4, Marathon would be $146, and Iris would be at $260. And the way this works is we're taking the uh, future hash rate per market cap calculation, dividing it by the current number of shares outstanding, and that's how we're getting the share price for that. So that's how that's being calculated. Opposite percentage uh, possibility would be as follows. So obviously the best one here would be Iris, but I think that's going to change. They are probably going to have to, um, you know, issue some more shares to fund their growth, I think. Um, but we'll see. Um, so that's that. My estimates are here. So I'm guessing, based on the information that we have here, uh, $13 for Digihost, $36 for CleanSpark, Moss would be $27, Argo $7, DMG $2, uh, $20 for Core Scientific, Bitfarms would be $26, $13 would be Hut 8, Ride would be $52, Hive would be $13, Marathon would be $170, and Iris would be $237. So we're, you can see the difference here based on the market cap and what they're actually, I think, uh, towards the end of the year might be possibly worth based on the numbers that I have here. Percentage-wise for my would be 397% increase in price for Digihost, if they can actually get to the hash rate that they need to get to, obviously. Um, CleanSpark would be a 253% increase from where they are right now, and a market cap of 1.5 billion. Boston would be a 640% increase and a market cap of 1.8 billion. We can see that right now, they're only at 247 billion, uh, million market cap, $7 for Argo. 696% increase um, with 2.5 billion in market cap. DMG would be $2, 233% increase, 315 million market cap. Uh, Core Scientific $20, 136% increase, 6.2 billion market cap. Bit Farms $26, Target 645% increase from where they are right now with a 6.5 billion market cap. Hut 8, we're looking at $13, 155% increase with 2.8. Ride $52, 215% increase, $6 billion market cap. And high would be $13, 626% increase, and $7 billion market cap. Um, and then $170 per for Marathon, 600% increase, $17.4 market cap. And 
My iris would be at two thirty seven dollars with a one thousand five hundred twenty two percent increase from where they are right now and a thirteen uh, billion market cap. Right, so that's based on current shares outstanding. My price per share, basically, where I think it should be once everything gets installed, more or less, um, getting into about thirteen billion market cap for that. BTC hot all wise. Uh, Digihost obviously has some, 736, so does CleanSpark 494. CleanSpark I know is using some of theirs to fund operations. Mawson doesn't have any, so it looks like they're using everything that they have to fund operations and growth. Argo has 2,685, uh, 2, valued at 110 million. Uh, DMG does not have any, they use everything to fund operations and growth. Course Scientific has 7,355, 302 million right now. Uh, is that correct? Um, and then BitFarm says 483, and that's a 200 million market uh, value on it. Hut 8 has 6,115, 251 million. Riot has 5,783, that's 237 million market cap. Hive 2,374 with a 97 million market cap. They have been obviously putting more in. Mar uh, Marathon is at 8,956 with a 368 million market cap and iris obviously is funding all of their operations and growth through the bitcoins that they have so we can see that obviously that they have a low amount of shares out so hopefully they can help them as well keep that low and you know obviously we can see that uh, it is paying off to investors that they're not devaluing uh, or diluting their shares basically um, so they are kind of getting a little bit of a premium on it i think if we look at it here on the numbers, yeah, see, I'm showing that they're a little bit overvalued, and I think that's why, because they're not uh, devaluing their shares or diluting their shares right now. Um, looking at $1 or one share, how much of a huddle you have in there? So Digihost is $0.94, cents, uh, CleanSpark is $0.49, cents, Mawson is 0 Argo is $0.29, cents, DMG is 0 Course Scientific is $0.95 cents per each share. 80 cents for bid farms. Hut 8 is $1.17. Riot is $2.04. Now, Hive is 19 cents. And Marathon is $3.58. So, based on all of that information, um, I do think a lot of these guys right now are undervalued. I do think that uh, based on the information we have here, I think Digihost and uh, what's the other one? Digihost and DMG. Because they are so small, um, I would think that they would possibly be more towards like the 10 price earnings multiple, along with some of the other guys, maybe around 12, 15 or so. We're using the 20 here, so this is kind of an extreme part of it. Um, you know, it's kind of where people usually value companies of high growth, around 20 on average. So that's kind of what I'm using there. And we can see here that most of these guys are way undervalued. Obviously, BitFarms is way undervalued, so is Argo and... Mawson, along with Digihost, if we use that 20 um, press earnings multiple, Hive is way undervalued right now. Um, and Marathon is pretty well valued right now, in my opinion. So there's quite a few guys that are way undervalued. Some are fairly valued. Uh, Hide is also 92% undervalued, in my opinion. But I think the, over, the ones that are going to be potential takeover bids would be Digihost, um, along with, right now, DMG, the one, at least the ones that I cover. Because you do have only 85 million here market cap, 105 million would be easy to uh, basically pay a little bit of a premium, 20% premium or whatever it is, and buy out what they do have. And future hash rate is obviously, well, you're basically buying one exahash to 1.5 exahash uh, of equipment. So we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, those guys are obviously uh, undervalued. Some of them are overvalued. But I just want to provide this to you guys. I know there's a lot of numbers here. And then if we look at the minor stats that they performed for February com in comparison to everyone, this was kind of interesting here to take a look at this. So we're comp comparing um, mine Bitcoin's current value and obviously the difference before uh, from the previous month of January and the percentage difference. So why don't we do that? We'll stack them up uh, ascending. So Marathon obviously did the worst. They were down 22%. Argo was down 21%. Digihost was down 18. Iris was down 12. Hive was down 11% from January. CleanSpark was down 9. Course Scientific was down 8.9, almost 9. Hot 8 was down 6.17. Riot was down 4.8. DMG was down 2.91.
and Bitfarms was down 1%, while Mawson was the only one that was up actually 8.57% uh, over January in production of the Bitcoins. They actually produced 12 more Bitcoins uh, than January. Everybody else did less. Obviously, Core Scientific did uh, 96 Bitcoins less, which is a lot. Uh, but, but they're just so big as far as their hash rate is. Um, that's kind of to be expected. And then obviously Marathon was down 101 also, which was huge. Um, so that was unfortunate to see there. And then if we look at the growth, how much each one has grown during uh, from January to the end of February, we can see that, let's take a look at the one that has grown percentage-wise the most uh, due to this ascending. So we can see that DigiHost actually grew the most, but they also went up from, you know, where was it? Uh, miners differences, hash rate differences. They only went up 84 at uh, Penahash. And so, but, and they had basically, I think it was 420 or something like that, 415 Penahash to start with. They ended up with almost 500 Penahash at the end of the month. So they were up 20%. The Mawson was up 18% on hash rate. Riot was up 15. Hut 8 was up 12%. Core was up 9. Marathon was up 8. Clean Spark was up seven, Iris was up five, DMG was up two, Hive was up two, and then Bitfarms and Argo basically were flat for the month. And then if we look at the BTC per petahash, how much they're actually uh, generating BTC per petahash, we can see that the best one out of the bunch here right now is, let's see here, Hive. Hive is actually one of the best ones out there, uh, but that also doesn't include, I think they have two, 1,840 petahash combined with uh, with the GPU mining and the number that's here is the BTC equivalent combined. So they would have mined less uh, just with the ASICs miners but they're using also the GPU miners and then I think they're at 2,840 right now uh, petahash. That would give us still 1.33 on the BTC per petahash. So they're the most efficient ones right now, Hive is. Followed by Iris, Bitfarms, DMG, CleanSpark, Hut8, Core Scientific, Mawson, Riot, DigiHost, Marathon, and then followed by Argo right now. So that was kind of interesting to see as well that even though Hive hasn't grown that much recently, but they announced obviously they're going to be putting in more, uh, more hash rate, they are still the ones that are doing the best. And I think the reason for that is obviously their GPU miners. Their GPU miners are just so efficient and... Uh, at basically converting it from what I think they're hot um, mining Ethereum and then that's being converted over, over to BTC or vice versa in dollar wise so that's helping them with that that's why that that's coming out the way it is I think now uh, if it wasn't for that they would be uh, lower than that I think just with the async miners um, but that's interesting obviously um, and it's sad to see that they're not getting the love uh, looking here at five you know one billion Share price of dollar eighty six. They should be closer to you know seven dollars, six dollars, something like that, um, as compared to where they are right now. And I think it's basically because the growth story. A lot of the investors are looking for growth, um, and that's what's going to drive the stocks further. I think. So obviously, a lot of numbers here. Um, a lot of miners are undervalued. Um, I think as Bitcoin returns to being a bull run. We're going to see that change. We're going to see that obviously help uh, increase. And I've talked about this before. Bitcoin goes down 1%. The miners go down 1.5%, you know, 2%, 3% down. And then the same happens when Bitcoin goes up. When Bitcoin goes up you know, 1%, these guys go up 2 3%. Um, so it's the opposite as always happens. The good thing is obviously Bitcoin hasn't fallen too far. Uh, we're still around 40,000. We're holding here, which is good. So the miners are still going to be profitable for a long time, I think. Obviously, hash rate is increasing, so that's something that we got to pay attention to as well. They do have to obviously install more miners each month to um, basically battle the hash rate increases. And that's the only way they're going to do it. Otherwise, they're going to be having negative months where they're basically making less each month on Bitcoin's uh, mind. That's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk to you guys on this. A lot of details, like I said before. Um, shoot me down. Shoot me. Shoot me. Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Uh, hit me up with the comments down below if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to provide, um, you know, best answers that I can. Uh, spreadsheets are always available to my Patreon members. Uh, link is in the description as well on that. I appreciate you guys watching very much. Let me know if you have any questions. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And that's all I ask of you guys. So until 
tomorrow's video, which we'll do on riots, numbers, and we'll take a look at some other things that are happening. Um, you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.